1825, the name changed to Quincy and was named the county seat of Adams County. Both Quincy and Adams were named after the newly elected president, John Quincy Adams. Great ego booster for the guy at the time. Quincy, Illinois is about a 2 hour and 15 minute drive north of St. Louis and a 5 hour drive southwest of Chicago. Quincy is a decently sized city that is in a land far, far away from everything else. It's located on a bluff along the Mississippi River, and it even has its own university. Well, let's get to it, shall we? The way I take into town is through the south side along a highway that passes through some quarries and other industrial facilities. Some of the town's biggest employers are along this stretch. As we head up this hill, we will officially be in Quincy. As I mentioned earlier, Quincy sits on top of a bluff that overlooks the Mississippi River, and that's nice because most of us know that the Mississippi River can be a mean one. Flooding along the Mississippi River and its tributaries can be extremely destructive to the cities that lie in the floodplains, and fortunately for Quincy, they don't have to worry about that. Quincy is home to 40,000 people. The city's population peaked in 1970 at 45,000. Since around 1990, the population hasn't shifted much as it stayed around 40,000. The median household income here is $44,000 per year, and 15% of the residents live in poverty. The national average for median household income is $63,000 per year, and nationally, 12% of people live in poverty. 24% of adults 25 and older in Quincy hold a bachelor's degree or higher, compared to 35% nationally. The median median value of owner-occupied housing units is $113,000 compared to $204,000 nationally. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. At a glance, the buildings in downtown Quincy look healthy, and that's not always the case with these isolated cities throughout the rural Midwest. If you want to see some of those towns, go ahead and check out some of my playlists on my channel. More and more of these towns are looking beat up and hopeless. Despite being in the state of Illinois, Quincy has found a way to keep employers around, and therefore, that keeps most of the locals from moving elsewhere. Good job, Quincy. I mentioned earlier that Quincy sits on top of a bluff, and the original name of this fine settlement that we are currently in was named Bluffs, 
1825, the name changed to Quincy and was named the county seat of Adams County. Both Quincy and Adams were named after the newly elected president, John Quincy Adams. Great ego booster for the guy at the time. Quincy was able to grow rapidly in the mid-19th century with the construction of railroads and the access to the Mississippi River. In 1870, Quincy passed Peoria and became the second biggest city in the state of Illinois. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. Quincy had a large number of early German settlers, and some of the homes in town have German-influenced architecture as you take a look around. Quincy, Illinois, to my surprise, after visiting, has a violent crime rate that is double the U.S. average, and the property crime rate is slightly above the U.S. average. You people in Quincy need to stop assaulting and robbing each other. Quincy is also a drug hotspot, as in 2013, police once found over 500 shake-and-bake meth labs on the lawn of a home. State police said at the time that it might have been a world record amount of meth labs found in one location, and yes, I know that 2013 was a long time ago, but 2019 wasn't, as last year there was also a report out that said that nearly half of the felony cases prosecuted in Adams County are related to felony meth charges. Meth and the opioid crisis has done quite a number on not just Quincy but many of the rural towns scattered throughout the rural Midwest. As we go downhill towards the river, only a few blocks of the main city are in a flood risk area. Why they decided to build down here when there's plenty of higher ground is over my head. Would have been fine if it was just preserved as a massive riverfront park. I continue to drive along this road that parallels the river and it might look like I'm leaving the city but there's still plenty of Quincy left to see. I wasn't able to film everything that I wanted to as once again, rain got in the way and limited what I was able to film.
I was able to barely fit in Quincy University before it started to pour down rain. Quincy University is to the right and has an enrollment of around 1,000. It was established in 1860. The university is Roman Catholic based and was originally called St. Francis Solanus College. Well, I do end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure that you also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload new and amazing content just like this video. We'll see you next time. Peace!